What's going on? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. It's your boy hustling out here at the Salvation Army. Um, I found a couple. There was a lot of high-end suits in here. I think they were all kind of the same size. So it was probably like the same person that donated them or whatever the case was. Why they were donated, I don't know. That's a whole other story. But um, there was a Brooks Brothers. There was a Madison Brooks Brothers. Um, I think one's a Hickey Freeman. Um, I got a Joseph A. Bank Gold. I, I usually don't pick up the signature golds. Um, they do sell, but they don't sell like crazy like some of the other ones. I think they were older suits. They're not new, but they're in great shape. They're beautiful pinstripes. Like they're just really, um, the blue Madison one is the one that's definitely gonna sell first because it's your classic dark navy blue um, with the white pinstripe, like the jagged type of pinstripe, like the, the gangster suit, you know, the, the original OG. So um, that's, you know, that's what I like to call it. But anyway, if you guys like my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Let me know how I'm doing. And um, I wasn't going to really do too much. I've been laid low for a little bit. My back was really bad. Um, I have a bad back, so it's, um, sometimes it goes out, and sometimes I have issues. And I, I'm not real old, but you know, I just I was in a, a lot of car accidents as a kid with people who can't drive. I guess you could say um, I was hit really hard in a car before, like just rear-ended, bam, you know, and just. Um, so I have a lot of herniated discs, but that's a whole nother story. What we're going to do is I'm going to hit up one more store. Most likely it's already two o'clock. I would like to hit the post office. I have tons of stuff yesterday. Couldn't make it. Um, I was waiting on a plow. Plows weren't coming. So, um, I had to, I had to, um, shovel my wife out so she could go to work and, uh, that's pretty much it. But, um, I'm going to hit this last store up and then I'm going to start with the haul video right now. Okay, we're back at the crib. We're in the basement, aka the dungeon. Um, I did buy this light, and I'm not really too, not too sure about it. There's actually something else in here, I think. Is there? No, it's actually just this moving around. You can actually claim this, so I'm gonna save the receipt. Make sure you guys are saving all your receipts because um, this that's for my business. We're taking um, photos, pictures. Um, so. Hopefully eBay will be a part of my monetary, um, you know, gain or whatever you want to call it. Come on. Smarter than the box, Rock. Smarter than the box. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set this up. So this has a couple settings on it. Can't be that complicated. Okay, so this is the Bauer. Um, they had three of them, but this one has like three light settings on it. So I was like, you know what? They're both $10. Or no, they were both $20, which is the reason why I was a little, um, I don't know if optimistic is the word, but a little weary maybe. Dropping everything. I'm really not prepared for this video, am I? Not enough light in the background either. But um, I have like my own little makeshift. Um, thing that I use. Sexy has a remote also to change the light settings. I really don't know why you would need that unless you're far away. Uh, I mean, so I guess I do know why you would need that, but all right, so this is where your phone would go in and I would imagine that this bends. Yeah, so that bends. Okay, I don't think there's, there's another, there's the, that's the tri-stand, tripod or whatever you want to call it. So there's that. Probably use this plastic maybe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so pretty simple. Kind of not really feeling the tripod too much. It's okay, but it's not really anything special to it. Okay, so I think that the light goes on this. We're gonna try this out. It plugs into your computer too, so I can just plug it right into my right into my desktop. 
which is actually pretty convenient. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try it out here in a minute, and um, I'm like picking my ear. Oh. Okay, don't pick your ear on camera, buddy. So there's the light. Hello. Jumping through hoops to get this done. And so this goes on here like so. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm not even reading the directions. I'm just assuming that this is where it goes. It's not going in, though. <laughs> Can't be that complicated. I'm pretty sure. It doesn't go on the bottom, does it? I guess you could put... Oh, that's for the stand on the bottom. Duh. All right, so we're going to try this. I'm going to turn the camera off and turn it back on, obviously. With, with this connected and with the light, I'm going to plug it in. So basically, you just... You kind of just bend this like this, I guess. And put your phone... Put your phone in it. So I'm going to make that a little bit tighter. And just kind of... And then I'll tighten that like that. Just put your phone inside of that like that. And then the light emits around it, which gives you a better, you know, a better picture, a better recording. So there's settings on here too. We'll see. Got a decent haul, not a real, not. Not a real big haul, so it shouldn't take up too much time. I don't want to take up too much of your time. So, there's the power. So, that's pretty bright. See? I don't know, because it's going to be right in my face. There's a blue light. So, I don't see the reason why you would use any of the other lights. I'm probably just going to use the white light. I think you can... I think you can turn it up and down to like... Yeah, you can make it brighter. So I can actually lower... This is actually really nice. I'm actually kind of feeling this. So let's set it up and we'll see if we can get a better picture with this. So... Yeah, but you know what? I might even be able to put the light onto that. Like, I'm wondering if I can do that. If that would make more sense. So we're going to do that. So there it is with the light set up. I mean. It's okay. Like you can change the light settings on it. It has the. I don't want to change it because I don't want to mess up the video. Um, here's another piece actually. What's this one for? I think I should, might be able to use this piece to hook up. Because I would rather. I'd rather hook it up to this, but then I think that this would be too high up in the air. I think that's what my issue was before with making my video. So just trying to make a better, you know, just a better video, better experience. It is really bright in your face. Like, I need to wear sunglasses. Okay, so without any further ado, we're trying out the... We're going to try out the light. And we're going to get right into the video. Okay, so I picked this up today. This is an RCA Active Matrix LCD television. I took it out of the box. Um, it's like brand new in the box. I was actually surprised to see that these were selling for $50. See, look, the ring is just like reflecting off of... <clears throat> I don't like the ring. No. Okay, so I tried the ring light. I have it over there because when I had it in front of me, when I was holding this box up, all you see, see the ring? All you see is the light from the ring light being in front. So anything I have that's glossy is going to do that, and I really don't want it to do that. Trial and error, I guess. Trial and error. I just have to keep trying stuff. I think if I had a couple ring lights around me, like big ones on the side of me would be okay but with my whole setup i have a table right here which is my like it's kind of like my assembly line you know where i do all of my um wrapping on my items and things like that so 
I just don't think it's going to work out like that. So we're going to get right into the video. Um, I was trying to show you guys this when I had to start over. Um, this is an RCA Active Matrix LCD television. When I opened it up, it was new inside, like basically brand new. Um, these sell for about $50, and I paid $9.99. So not too bad. It's probably going to cost 10 to ship, so I'll probably already be 20 in it. So, with that being said, there's $30 in profit after fees. I'll probably make about $25. Bucks. Still not too bad for $10. Turn $10 into like $35. Okay, so I was really surprised to see that this game was worth about $50. I paid $2 bucks for it. It's called Game of Phones. It's like a game that you play with your cell phones. But um, it's a va it's very valuable. Like it's It must be like a, a super rare game. Um, I don't know where you get it, but um, it's worth 50 bucks. So if you ever see this game, it's really small or easy to ship. It probably weighs under a pound, most likely. So this could just, I could probably just wrap this in cardboard and put it in a padded envelope and, you know, a padded, um, <clears throat> the ones that I buy, not a flat rate, but because um, you can't use flat rate to go first class. But um, for $2 and the 50, that's a no brainer. I think I seen one sell for 30. Between 30 and 50, may, I, th I may be, um, I think I'm incorrect. I think that this is like a 40 or $50 game. So it's still not too bad. Found some more blanks today. I picked these blanks up. Um, these are the good ones. If you can find a bunch of these colorful ones, like the ones that are like, you know, like pastel colors, those are the ones that <clears throat> that seem to be um, a little bit more sought after. There are other ones too that are a little bit more val valuable, but I, I don't know that much about them. I just know that they sell if you find a bunch of them. And lot them together, you can make a pretty decent profit. Um, I was curious about this, so I looked it up. It's beginning strategies for successful investing. It's IBD Home Study Program. So this is brand new. Um, I guess there's discs in there. That's what it looks like. It looks like they're just kind of like loose in there. But um, this is worth about between thirty and forty. I think that I think this is what was worth about thirty bucks. Between thirty and forty dollars. So. Still not bad. I think I probably paid like two or three dollars for this. Not not a whole lot. So not a lot invested into that. And uh, I was actually looking, and I looked over top of me when I was in the was I think it was the Sal yeah the Salvation Army. Um, I'm gonna take the sticker off. This was seven ninety nine. Um, and I seen this I seen this camera sitting there, and I went oh okay. So I grabbed it, and then I looked it up, and I seen that it just said Samurai. And I went, oh, okay. But then I looked on the other side. It says Yashica. Um, these are really good cameras. And they're, um, I think that some of the features, this has like, it has the light and everything on it. So that's probably why this is a little bit more valuable. It actually is still, still on. I noticed that, that the screen that it was on. So I was like, it definitely works. Um, it just needs a new battery. But um, this camera's worth over $100. So I was like, okay, wow, um, eight bucks. I said, I'll grab it. I'll take a chance on it, and we'll go ahead and see. See, there goes the flash. Flash goes down. Flash goes up. Okay, so this into $100. Um, <clears throat> I see people listing them for under that, but they're selling for over 100 so I'm not going to list it for less than what I'm going to supposed to get for it. So if everybody else is getting $110, $100 for these cameras, and that's what I'm going to list it for. I'll probably list it for like 120 and put it on sale. So still... Super score right there. That's a really good score. Be on the lookout for that camera. It's called the Yashica Samurai. I think this is the Samurai Z. Samurai Z. Integrated technology. This is an automatic focusing Yashica three times zoom lens. Um, it's a Kyocera too. So it's just got a whole bunch of things just mixed into it. Like so, I mean that's like two brands in one camera. So we'll see. I'll get it listed. All right, so I've seen this jacket. Um, I can't find it online, but I did find other ones like it. This is a G3. It's a Carl Banks, which um, he does a lot of leather and a lot of college, a lot of um, NBA, football, you know, NFL, all that stuff. Um, it's in really good condition. It is a Villanova, and it says National Champions really big on the back. Then it says 85. So I guess that's the year. So I don't know if this jacket is from 1985. I don't know how long. Carl Banks has been around for. I'll have to look it up and see. And then it's got, so obviously it's the basketball team because it has the ball and it says 85 on the sleeve. This jacket's in perfect condition. It's in really, really good shape. 
Um, I see some of these Villanovas. Be on the lookout for the satin jackets, the satin bombers. They sell for a ridiculous amount, like almost two, three hundred dollars. Like, just a ridiculous amount. Like, I guess the older ones, not starter, but I can't remember the brands. But this is really nice. This is like, I don't think it's that old because it has a zipper on the inside, and that doesn't strike me as being an older coat because it has a zipper for the inside pocket. I wouldn't expect that. It's not a YKK zipper. It's a different different brand of zipper. So, uh, I think it says Y Y S Y C S or Y something. I don't know. But um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, maybe I'll just list it really high and just kind of just go from there and see what happens. Maybe insult somebody at the same time, you know, who knows. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to keep on going. All right, so I got a pair of boots for my granddaughter. Um, they're not in the best condition. I'm going to clean them up a little bit. I'm definitely going to clean them before I give them to her, but they're, they're little light-ups. Come on, there it is. Little light-up Disney princess. Um, My daughter said today that she needed some boots, so they're a little beat up, but... You know, they'll do for now. Maybe I'll get her a new pair for Christmas, so. That'll work. I think I can clean them up really nice. I think they just need to be cleaned. So, we learned a new brand today, and I'm going to show you. Um, some of you have, have may have already heard of this brand, um, may have already sold it, picked it up, but some people may have, may not have picked up this brand. It's called Nudie Jeans. The brand is Nudie Jeans. There's the tag. Um, I'm probably going to want to make sure that these are authentic because a lot of times these higher higher designer jeans are um, the tags inside are indicating to me that these are definitely authentic. Even the rivets, everything, like the rivets are marked. Like they just don't do that with the fake ones. They don't go that far. Like I mean I found a vintage, you know, I found a vintage Berkeley um um, Hermes, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's H-E-R-M-E-S. I think it's Hermes. I think the H is like silent. I think it's French maybe. Not really sure. But um, they make a really expensive, it's a really, really expensive purse. Like a $15,000 purse. And I found a fake one. And it was really, really good. The only thing it didn't have was the serial number on the inside. On the inside of the purse, um, between like the flap, there's supposed to be a serial number inside. And the lock was fake. The lock had a um, a very faked um, lock on it. Um, the number that was on the lock was a lock was one of the numbers that they used to fake them, and the lock was very light and cheap. So, but almost. So you know you can't win them all. All right. So there's the tag on the back. These are called nudie jeans. I think that I can probably get. I paid seven and a quarter. I did pay up for these because. Um, I seen them selling for like sixty, seventy dollars used. So um, this is a really high end jean. Obviously, they're in really good shape, like perfect condition. There's no, there's, there's no wear on these jeans at all. It is a smaller size. I may have a, a harder time selling them because they're smaller. But um, we'll see. I'll try a new brand. You know, I, I always like to try new brands just to, you know, just to get my feet wet. So we'll see. Try out that new brand. See what else we got. I did pick up some suits today. You know how I am with my suits. I know when I pick good ones up, I know they'll sell. Um, all the ones that I picked up, the Loro, Loro, Loro P Piana, they all are selling. I think I've sold like three three suits already. Um, and they're selling for over $100, all of them. One suit I think I sold for like $175. Speaking of $175, the Gucci purse that I just picked up sold yesterday, and they didn't pay, and they don't have a score. So I don't. I knew I sh probably shouldn't have accepted it because they don't have a an eBay score. They don't have a rating. Um, so that was probably a red flag right there. So I'll cancel it and I'll relist it. I'm not going to play around with uh, a deadbeat buyer. All right. So this isn't a suit that I would normally pick up. Um, it was ten bucks. I know I can get more than fifty for it. Sometimes people can get over a hundred for them. This is a Joseph A. Bank. This is a signature gold. Um, so this is a little bit higher than the signature, 
definitely. Um, a little more high, higher end, a little more expensive, but um, not worth a ton. If I'm lucky, I'll get 100 for it. If I want to move it, then I'll sell it for 50 or $60, which isn't bad. Still from $10 into 60 is not bad. And um, I can ship a suit. Sometimes I, I'll ship them in a padded, but if it's a really nice suit, a really expensive suit, I won't do that. I'll I'll usually ship it in a box. Like a, um, I should ship all of them in boxes from now on. Um, if it don't, won't go cheaper, I should just do um, regional rate. Here's the pants. So I mean, not a real new suit. They are they are pleated, pleated and cuffed, which is not really um, modern. It's not a modern suit. It's an older suit. But um, there still are men out there that do wear the pleated and cuffed type. You can always pull the cuffs out. You can't, I don't think you can pull the pleats. But I know you can pull the cuffs out because you can always extend. <clears throat> you can always hem the, hem the length. So, you know, whatever. All right. So, um, since I've been sourcing, I've never really found a vintage Carhartt. And... I just found a vintage Carhartt. It's made in USA. Judging by that tag, it's really old. It's a blanket lined. It does say made in USA. Um, I paid up for it. It was $13. But uh, I'm going to try to get 100 for it. It's a small size, which is it's a 38, 38 long. So we'll see. It's got a little bit of distress on it, a couple stains. It's not too bad. It's not in really bad shape. It doesn't have any pockets. So, there is, that's an inspection. It's got still got the inspection sticker in it. They probably never used that pocket. But um, it's really, really well made. Um, nice Carhartt. It's kind of like a slender, it's a really smaller size. I don't let that deter me because my suits that I just picked up were 38s and they're selling. Size doesn't matter. I mean... You could you could pick a jacket up that could be a 36 regular. It doesn't matter. There's somebody out there that's going to fit. I mean, if it's a sold after suit, you know, high end, expensive, you know, you shouldn't have an, an issue. This I'll probably just lay this flat. This is not going to fit very well on a mannequin. My mannequins are a little bit bigger, so that's probably what I'll do with that. Man, that's a stiff jacket. That's a warm jacket. All right, so. Um, I normally don't pick up Ralph Lauren either, um, especially Lauren, Ralph Lauren, but the only reason why I picked, I was going to say, don't tell me a button just flew off. The only reason why I picked this one up is because it's new. I've sold this model before, but this will sell for more because it's new. I paid, I paid $8 for this. So it's got the paisley lining. It doesn't have the shoulder. It doesn't have the elbow patch, but still really nice it is smaller size too 38 regular so this is a small this don't look like no 38 regular there's no way it's got a lot of fuzz on it so i have to clean it up yeah we'll clean it up it's a light color like a camel brown so we'll get something for it so we did get a couple really really nice really nice suits all right so here's the pants okay, i paid ten dollars so this is basically that pattern is called a glen check and then the, the blue in the background squares that is called the window pane so that's a window so this is a this is a plaid glen a glen plaid window pane pattern that's basically what that is and the glen the glen plaid is a very um sought after um, d um pattern that's a, it's the style is very is very popular all right so this one was this was the this is an 18 18 fitzgerald saxon so it's a brooks brothers Brooks Brothers is a really, really good brand. Very old, but not all of them are created equal. I'll only pick Brooks Brothers up if it's high-end like this. This is a high-end suit. This is an older suit. It's not very new, but it's in really good condition. And it's really good material. Surprise, it's not a Laura Piano. It's not a Laura... It's not a Laura Piana. 
Piana. So it is what it is. Here's another one. This is a nice one too. I'm trying to get the pants out first. So I can put them. You don't need to see the pants. I'm show you the jacket. Can I help you? I'm recording. So what? Come here. What do you want? What do you want? I'll turn it off. What do you want? Chicken. <laughs> Holl at me later, bruh. Whatever. Okay. They always ask me for money. That's probably what it was. They didn't ask me for money. I know. Um. Okay, so this is another one. This one's not a Saxon, though. This one is just a regular. This one is a Regent. This one's a Brooks Brothers Regent. Uh, is it made in Italy? Really nice. But this pinstripe is just a beautiful pinstripe. It's got a couple little spots on it, like that I can probably just take a little bit of water, a little bit of um, a little rag and some water, and it looks almost black, but it's not. See, it has that stripe, that jagged. It's like a spiral stripe. That seems to be a really popular type of stripe. Usually, as soon as I list that kind of stripe um, suit, they sell right away. So those are very high-end suits. They were probably, you know, eight, eight, nine hundred dollars, give or take. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Okay, so I really want to show you guys this suit. All right, so I did do a little TJ Maxx, a little shopping for the family. Okay, so I opened this one up. This is a double-breasted, but then I opened it up, and I was like, ooh, Versace. ooh -hoo. So, this isn't a really high-end Versace, classic V2. It's got a button on the inside, so you can close that on the inside. Um, I think there was buttons. There might have been buttons in this one. A lot of times when you put your hands in the pockets, you'll find spare buttons. I don't remember if this was the one... But this is a this is a double breasted, really nice suit, just kind of like a brown color. I'm not really sure what you would wear this color for, but still pretty nice. That's Versace. The pants weren't with it. They he only charged me for the suit. No, he charged me for the suit and the pants. See, there's the Medusa. There's the Medusa in the pants. That's how I noticed when I was looking for him. I was just. Usually, a lot of times, you find a really nice jacket. If it's a stripe, it could be a solid. It could be any. Like, that was a solid, but I knew that that was a suit. Um, a lot of times, when you see double the double breast, um, most of the time, there's going to be pants. But a lot of times, it's just a sport coat, and there isn't pants. So, um, this I knew right away that there had to be pants to it. So, I went and looked for them. There's the Medusa. The Medusa head right there in Versace. Um, this suit's not worth a whole lot of money. I think I paid like $15 for it. And I think I can get about $80. Bucks. So anywhere between $70 and $80. Which isn't too bad for $15. You, your returns on suits are higher. Like You can spend up a little bit when you buy a suit. Um, maybe this color will be a more popular color. Maybe it's not. So we'll see. Um, it, the name will sell. The Versace name, will, it will definitely sell. Like if it was Armani or something, it would be different, but it's Versace. So it's definitely a little more sought after. I did pick up a couple pairs of shoes today. The only kind of shoes that I will pick up. <laughs> okay, so we got some J's. I, th I believe, I think these are the 14s. I'm not even sure. I don't even know. I know they're real. They're definitely real. So they're a smaller size. They're a five and a half youth. Um, they might even fit my daughter. Nah, her feet ain't that small. But they only need a little bit cleaned up. And I think I can get... Um, we do have some scrapage over here. I did not see that. Ooh. I don't think I have that blue color. Yeah, they're a little scraped up. Somebody scraped them. 
Laces are a little dirty. I mean, just by themselves, I can get 40 or 50 for them. Um, they're only like six bucks, I think. They were six ninety nine. Um, the kids' shoes, they're always like seven dollars. Um, the, a good way to see if they're real is to look in here for the pla that's you that's plastic underneath it there. A lot of times they'll fake that and that won't you know, they won't they won't be able to, to um to manipulate that or re re reproduce it or whatever. So <clears throat> There's a lot about shoes that I don't know, so I kind of really don't like to dip into them, but I know when I see certain Jordans, when I see the OGs, I know that there's a little bit of money to be made, but I always find them in small sizes. I never really find them in big sizes, so somebody must beat me to the punch all the time. All right, so pick up these floor chimes. <sighs> a little dusty in there, huh? Um, These are... These are nine and a half D leather upper sole balance man made. All right, so these are nice, but um, I picked these up because they're brand new. They were never; these were never worn. They're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. Um, this is a loafer. Um, they call this a pinch. They call that pinch, but um, <sighs> these are just a slip-on loafer. I'm trying to think of the I'm trying to think of what that's called. It's not a blucher. I don't know. I always forget. Like I get in front of the camera and I forget everything. Like, so whatever. They're a loafer. So they're not worth a whole a whole lot. I'll look them up. I'll go by the model and go by that. So I got a couple pairs of pants. I only picked these up because they were really, first of all, they were really cheap. You never see jeans like that and these were vintage these were only 4.99 i can't find the tag on the inside because i want to see if they're made in usa usually it's right here on these older ones so on the inside next to the pocket um kind of like behind it towards the butt and i don't see i know they're real because everything is right but um it might have been in the back and it might have just came off. So. I do have the. You can always tell at the top. Like there should be. They're single. Yeah, these are definitely older. Because they're single stitched. Here and here. Also, right here, you should be able to tell also. They're not though. They don't have the their cross is not right is not there. The older ones will have like the cross stitch right there. I know these are old because they're orange tab. So they're definitely from the 80s. I think they're from the 80s. The 80s or 90s is when they did the orange. So I'm not really sure what year, but man, I'm getting tired. Like so I'm not really too sure. The ones you want to find, you want to find the old ones. You want to find the big E's. So, that's a whole nother story and a whole nother research. Okay, so I seen these and I was like, all right, I guess I'll pick them up. Why not? They were six bucks. Um, I would wear them, but I don't do the basketball. I don't do the breakaways. I don't like the metal against my legs. Like These are supposed to just be worn over your basketball shorts and breakaway. But I seen the white tag, so I was like, okay, I'm going to have to get them. They're in really, really good condition. Like, they're in, like, perfect shape. Um, of course, they don't have any pockets. A lot of times when you see these, there's snags all in them. We do have a Nike sign right there, so that's a good thing. Um, a lot of times, the buttons will be really bad. There's one, but I can touch that up with blue paint, and I can paint that if I want. I mean, I don't have to. It's not a big deal. It looks like it's got something on it, like. Yeah, see, I just that just scraped right off. So that wasn't even the paint. These were probably weren't they probably weren't worn. You know, maybe a couple times, and that was it. But there's no wear on the bottom. These are perfect. Yeah, these are in perfect condition. One of the reasons why I picked them up. I I don't like to pick up things like this because there's not a whole lot of value. You're only talking like thirty dollars. So um, I might be able to get a little bit more for these because of the condition, but probably not. Probably thirty bucks. So, um, I think if I sold them on a different platform like Depop or something, I'd be able to get more. 
which doesn't really make any sense to me. If I list them somewhere else, I can get more. That doesn't make no sense. But that is the way the market is. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, so last but not least, I just sold one of these jackets too, like, like last week. I think it was a trench too. This is a phase two. Be on the lookout for this brand, but I would only pick it up if you can get it really, really cheap if it's just a jacket. Because I seen one today and I passed it up because they're only really sell for like $30. But if you can find the trenches like this one, then they're worth about 100 bucks. So this is a trench coat. This is a double-breasted, really long, you know what I mean? This is like to the floor type of deal, all leather, black trench coat. Really good condition. No, I don't see any scrapes on it. Like there's a little little dust on it from it dragging a little bit. But other than that, this thing is like perfect condition. It needs to get listed. Um, I have an issue with my back right now. So it's really hard for me to measure things. So, um, yeah, that's an issue for me right now. Did all the, um... All the shoveling and everything outside because we just got that bad snowstorm so you know how that is but anyway that's all i got thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys learned something with my video the ring light seems to be working pretty good it's a little bit brighter right here i'm using a different stand now i'm not using this one i was using this one and clamping this to my desk but it was like right in my face and i kind of want to get a little bit more of me so i can show you know, so I have a little bit more space. Um, and you can see more of me, like it matters. But, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Peace out.